Welcome back to Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach Jay Artiz, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. This past weekend, the Lions had a three-game set against Central Arkansas, and due to Easter holidays, they played Thursday, Friday, Saturday instead of Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Let's go out to the Pat on Thursday night and check out the Game 1 highlights. Here we go on a Friday night, and another true freshman, Andro Chutor, Pony Boy, getting a start on a Friday night. He gets the big hopper, gets over Phil's position. What a put out. Boy, he was absolutely dominant. Threw a great game for us. Leads the ball up there. The Central Arkansas swung the bats very well. You see him leaving it up, and he drives the ball right center field gap. Good job of hitting. But Pony Boy really settled in. As you can see right there, he gets a soft contact. Gets the run in, but does a great job eliminating a big inning. Super, super job by Andre. Just the big hop. Nice play by Brock Abel to get the out there. They had bases loaded, no outs, and we did a great job eliminating a big inning right there. And Andre Chateau was a big reason for that. Really dominated with his fastball. Pitched on both sides of the plate and had great life. He was still 92 miles per hour in the eighth inning, which is phenomenal. Harry Slade gets the lines going. Hits the ball deep to center field, over to center fielder's head. Harry Slade comes rumbling and stumbling. Slides in safe. Coach Rosa does a great job with the call. Harry Slade, very headsy base runner. Working on that, still working that line up sign though. Good job bunting him over, bunting him in. Great job, productive out, run at third base. Lines get on the board. Make it a two-to-one ball game. Good job by Hoffman. Productive out getting him in. There's Pony Boy back in action. Breaking ball. Swings through it. Strike three. Andre was fantastic. Takes off his hat so everybody can see his face. Likes to show it off. Good job, Michael Rutland, laying off a tough pitch. Drawing ball four. Really took advantage of that pitcher was wild on Friday night, and I thought our hitter did a great job taking advantage of it. As you can see the breaking ball. Hits Brock Abel on the foot. They come the lines, put a little pressure on him. See Coach Maxey down at first base with that hard hat on. Cody Gagler. Hit runners at second, third, and he crushes this ball deep right field for the sack fly. Jonathan Pace with the sack bun ahead of him, making his job a little bit easier as a hitter. Cody Gagler, we had some good productive outs. You see Cody Gagler with the sack fly right there, scoring Michael Rutland. Ties it up at 2-2. They had them really good at bats on Friday night. Thought very, very productive at bats. They come right back with a single up the middle, but I never really threatened too much off of Andre. He did a great, great job. Good job of holding the runner. Good soft contact. A little six four. Three double play. Great job of turning by the middle guy. See the breaking ball running away from the hitter. Andre's got a good curveball. As you can see it running away from the hitter. Didn't have much of a chance, kind of. You see him thinking right there, what was that? Great job by Fish laying off ball four. Took advantage of some wildness, like I said earlier. You know, the pitcher was a little wild on the night, and we did a good job taking advantage of it. Wild pitch, gets by the catcher. Fish uses his speed to get to second base. Lad Rhodes, two outs, running score in position. Well, Lad's been doing a great job for us. As you can see right here, laces a two out single to the left side. Fisher speeds a great job of sending by Coach Rise because as fast as Jacob is, he gets in there and knocks the ball loose. Scores on the play. Good job by Jacob Fisher. That was a great send by Coach Rise as well. Putting some pressure on him, forcing him to make a play. Andro stays in command. The fifth inning gets a ground ball at first base. Woo! Blue by him. Strike three. Good job by Pony Boy. Tell you, that kid's going to be really, really good. He already is, and he's going to have a lot of great days ahead of him. Good late breaking ball for strike three. Really started dominating there. Seventh inning, still going strong. What a freshman he is, I tell you. Just blows that fastball right by him. See the run on the ball? I mean, like I said, he was in eighth inning. He's still throwing 92 miles per hour with a lot of life on his fastball. He was outstanding. Kept that starter. Boy, they really didn't want to go to their bullpen, even though that starter was struggling with command. Threw a ton of pitches, and our guys really took advantage of that. Lay off that pitch out the zone. Crushes that ball to me. That's a good job of hitting. Great job of Brock Abair. Good base runner with no outs. Stay at the second base. He runs at first and second. A lot of productive outs. Jonathan Pace bunts him over, as you can see right here. A lot of productive outs for us on Friday night. 
Good job of pace. Bunts him over. And Geigler gets him in. Just the way you want to draw it up. This was big. Extending our lead. We had to lead at time three to two. Keep that lead extended, which ended up being really important for us. Summer line, faith in the background, giving the applause. Harry Slay has swung the bat well for us this weekend. Takes advantage of that breaking ball, hits it hard right back through the middle. Scoring Brock Abair, another two out hit. Two big two out hits for us. Lad Road and Harry Slade. And that was a big difference. Getting those runners in. Honey Boy gets the big hop. Too high, too high to make a play. He had a rush on that ball, gets him in. Cut that lead to five to three. Still threatening. Go to the bullpen. Turn it over to Dylan Hills. They come in, greet him with the shot down that right field's line. But I thought it was big, big, big fire right field to Cody Guy to keep that hitter off second base. That was a huge part of it. Cut that lead to one. But Cody did a good job holding there. Going into the ninth inning with the lead. That means Stefan Lopez gets the ball. And as my favorite Catalano likes to say, game over. Came in, faced three batters, had one strikeout, two strikeouts, and then in the ball game, as Stefan always does for us, strike one, strike two, and strike three. Lions win. Great job by Lopez, getting another save. Good way to start a Friday night. Lions win, five to four. Andre Chutor, true freshman with the win on the mound. Coach, big victory on Thursday night over Central Arkansas, five to four. As Andre Chutora was fantastic, Coach. Went all the way into the eighth inning of this ball game, and then Stefan Lopez comes in and nails it down. Andre was so strong. You know, his fastball was really running, had a lot of life to it. He was 92 in the eighth inning with some good breaking stuff going with it. And like you said, turned over to Stefan Lopez. And, you know, when you do that, you feel pretty good about your chances. Well, Coach, just watching Andre out there is the fact that he looks like he's he's older than he is. You know, he pitches with a lot of uh, confidence out there for being a true freshman. He's a tough kid. You know, he does. He attacks the strike zone. And, you know, when you fill up the strike zone, you pitch with a great mentality like that, good things going to happen. And you, when you have stuff like he does to go with it, it makes you a Friday night guy, and that's why he's on Friday nights. The Lions were back at it on Friday due to the Easter holidays for Game 2. Let's check out the Central Arkansas highlights in Game 2. Here we go Friday. Beautiful weather at the Pat. Jordan Hemel on the mound. Gets a pop up. Jonathan Pace. I like the ball hit to him. That kid's got a tremendous glove. Saw that footwork on that. Strike three. I'll tell you, it's a big strikeout. That kid only hit nine strikeouts all year. 35 walks, nine strikeouts. Their hitter and Jordan Hemel got another strikeout. Gets straight. You see this pitch? Late life gets strike three. Fish does a good job. Even though that runner was about a foot inside the line, steps on that guy's foot. We still make the play. Good job by the Lions. Left this pitch over to play a little bit, but it was down. Just a good job of hitting, but Lad Rhodes gets a beat on it. Makes a great play at the wall. Strike three. Good job by Hemel. I'll tell you, this was probably the tightest drunk strike zone I've ever seen in baseball. And uh, as you can see, that pitch right there called ball. And we laid off of it. Good job of hitting. Lad Rhodes, big double down the right field line. Good job, Lad. Lad swung the bat really, really well for us. Good job, Lad. He's been doing a super job for us. Michael Rutten, productive out, running third base. Good read right there. That was a very good read, I thought, by Ben Hernandez with no outs, a big hopper. Forced a little action here, hit the ball in the middle. Great aggressive base running by Lad Rhodes. Scored a run, forced him to make a play, and we scored the run. Jordan Hemel stays in command, gets the high pop-up. Jonathan Pace with the close-up. Went to the bullpen of Joseph Kuhn. Didn't do a real good job out the pen. You see Kuhn throwing balls out the zone, walked in a run. Not what you want to see out the bullpen. You want to see a little more aggressive attack in the strike zone. They did a good job, single up the middle. Central Arkansas wins on Friday, eight to four. 
Coach Central Arkansas gets the victory in game two. This was, uh, you know, really an uncharacteristic ball game for your club as all year long your pitching staff has really commanded the strike zone and just put too many guys on base with the walk. Yeah, that was the bottom line. We just walked too many guys, gave them too many free passes, and when you do that against a club that can swing the bats, you know, the outcome's not going to be in your favor. So the Lions and the Bears split the first two games of the series. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll check out the rubber game against Central Arkansas right here on Inside Southeastern Baseball with head coach J.R. Tees, presented by your local Southern Quality Four Dealers and also Champagne Beverage. 